All right, welcome everybody to my first Q&A as my 250 subscriber special. All right, the first question is from Justin. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? Well, obviously it's gaming and YouTube. I mean, come on, that's the best. Beside that, I love cooking, eating, and because of that, <laughs> I need to do some sport. It's more like running, climbing in the mountains, stuff like that. Or actually, it's not, it's not really climbing, it's more hiking. From time to time, I like to read a good book, mostly in my holidays, for example, regarding thrillers and murderers with forensics and stuff like that. The, the fucked up shit, to be quite honest. And actually, that's it. Because a lot of my free time is already booked, because I'm a proud father of one son and my family work takes already a lot of time so with YouTube gaming and of course editing 90% of my time is spent so I can't really do any more hobbies at the moment as it is and I'm okay with that Okay, second question. Great work you do there. I hope you keep it going like this. Do you also plan to stream? E.g. Twitch. Uh, what I really love is that you wrote it in German and English. <laughs> so everybody understands the question regardless uh, who is watching. I planned for a long time to stream on Twitch. Apparently, well... I think it's better to show it to you. For example, my Twitch page is already set up. Sadly, because I moved uh, last week, I have crappy internet right now. So my upload rate is so slow and so tiny and so crappy that I can't stream. For example, I tried to upload a video. It's the... I think it was the funny moment 30 from PUBG. Yeah, that's it. And my whole internet crashed. So you, I wasn't able to watch YouTube. I wasn't even to surf. Did you know that Facebook has a loading icon? Well, I do now. So I have to find a solution for that. Apparently the building that I live in is very old and it's not connected to the, well, high-speed network. But I found already one or two solutions. They cost a little bit extra, but I think it's worth it. So I will be on holiday now for two weeks, so it will be gone. So if there are not as many uploads, then you know why. And as soon as I fix that, I may start streaming. But the problem is that I really want to focus on YouTube right now and not on streaming. I'm more the person who edits a lot and over that way I get attention it's not my funny personality I guess so I will start streaming but probably hmm, it's hard to say so I want to grow on YouTube first let's say for example as a 1000 subscriber milestone I will start streaming or as a 5,000 subscriber milestone. Why? Because my time is so limited right now. With kids, family, work. I mean, I'm not complaining, all right? I like my job, I love my family, but all this makes it really hard to create videos. So, if the milestone gets big enough, or as soon as I reach a big milestone, I think I will start streaming as well. Because streaming is not only switching on uh, Twitch and stream, and, and that's it. That's, that's th That will be a crappy stream. And if you watch the latest video of mine, I hate crappy content. And I will start streaming when I'm, when I'm at the point where I say, okay, that's the way how I want to stream. Probably will be really crappy at the beginning because it will be a completely new experience for me. But hey, first step one: fix internet, set everything up, get a community on YouTube going, and then we will see. 
So it will come. That's a question of a matter of time. The Doc 11 asks, what's your favorite game and why? All right, I like that question. The only challenge I have with that one is, like, in my life, the one that I remember the most, enjoyed the most, or, or currently. So currently, of course, it's PUBG. But I also enjoy a lot of VR games, uh, and that's the reason why I do content for the VR environment as well. But I think the all-time fi favorite will be Terra Nigma. Uh, <laughs> I don't think a lot of people will know the game. It's a game from the SNES. And it's the game that I enjoyed the most. It's the first game, I think, of my gaming life where I was really hooked to a game. Yes, the graphics are crappy, but the playtime was insane, maybe because I was a kid and I was stupid, but hey. And the story was great. It was this f the, the very first game that like got me hooked as a gamer. I still remember so many scenes from that game. It's, it's incredible. There's not a single game where I say it had this impact on me. Of course, if I'd play it today, I would probably say meh. Yeah, so there's a lot of nostalgia with it. But still, I think that's my all-time favorite game, the one that had the most impact. But for my current favorite game, or what I enjoy the most, of course, it's PUBG. I mean, look at my channel. I hope that answers your question. Then, next one. Here we have Carl from the Brothers. And my question for you is what is your favorite gun in PUBG? Great weapon and spawn weapon. Hmm. Well, spawn weapon. Obviously the car. It's hard to explain why. I think I will just uh, show you a clip that explains it perfectly. All right, I think you uh, get the point. My favorite crate weapon. Ah, uh, difficult. Um, I like the M24. I just love it, but I think it's pair to pair with the with the Groza. Yeah, the Groza is just a monster. It it demolishes people. It wrecks them. The M24 is my favorite sniper rifle. So yeah, great weapon. It's the Groza and the M24. I I can't say which one I like more. And the spawn weapon is the car, by far. I mean, really by far. There's there's no discussion there for me. I'm not saying it's the best weapon. It's my favorite weapon. Don't get me wrong here. Next one. If you could own any mythical creature, what would it be and why? So, let's see. Well, you can probably call me uncreative, but um, I go with a dragon. Yep. I definitely go with a dragon. A black one. With huh, I think yellow eyes. I like that combination. Big fucking black dragon with yellow eyes. Yep. Or green eyes. The toxic green. I think I'd go with that one. Uh, I know the, the <laughs> I know the, the answer dragon is so standard, yeah, but it's just, I was always amazed by dragons uh, in my, in my well, <laughs> younger days I like to play Warhammer, the, the tabletop game, and my armies always had dragons in them. There was a race without dragons, not playing it. And games with dragons in it, it's just, I don't know why. It's just, they are amazing. Why not? Owning my own dragon. Imagine. Alright, your videos are really cool. Thank you very much, Pyro. I was wondering what your opinions on Fortnite are. If you've played it, because I mainly played it, but I'm starting to play PUBG too. 
Ooh, that's a dangerous question to answer. I tried to answer that one and I try to be not too biased. Fortnite is a good game. Don't get me wrong. If I compare it to PUBG, I probably shouldn't do it. The servers are really smooth. You have way less cheaters and PUBG suffers currently heavily, especially in the third person mode under those cheating bastards. But somehow I, I'm missing something in Fortnite. It's, it's, I don't like the art style, maybe that's the problem. It's more like on the comic side and I don't like the element of building objects mid-combat. Maybe it's because I'm old <laughs> and I'm too slow to combine these two game elements, but I watched quite a few Fortnite videos because I think it's interesting to watch, but um, I don't like the, the gun mechanics, the shooting mechanics and the building and combat. I'm not saying it's bad, it's something different that I just, my personal preference says I don't like it. That's, that's just it. Not saying it's bad, don't get me wrong here. They made a lot of things right, for example, stable servers, no rubber banding, no lagging. Ah, PUBG servers are... I don't know. Shit. But hey, maybe you can give me your opinion in the comment section. Oh, wow. uh, you're starting to play PUBG too? Compare it. Tell me what you think about it. But what one point I think is very interesting in Fortnite that you can destroy nearly every object. So there's no like sitting behind trees because you can destroy them and houses you can destroy them. I think that's an element, for example, destructible buildings that I'm really missing in PUBG. So those fucking blocking fences. Uh, I'm super salty because I just died to a fence five minutes ago. I know it sounds stupid, but that's just how it is. So yeah, I really like that about Fortnite. But if I have to choose, I think I will stay into PUBG because the graphics are more appealing to me, the combat system is more appealing to me. And that's my humble opinion on Fortnite. And now destroy me in the comment section. What else? Uh, then Kiki GT. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If not, I'm really, really sorry. Drop a comment how I pronounce it correctly. Are you gonna continue making PUBG videos as a job of yours? Well, um, I think this graphic explains it very well. I make two dollars a month. Uh, you don't get paid by YouTube if you don't breach one hundred dollars. Mm, now they changed the partnership system, so I need 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of view time. And <laughs> I don't reach any of these requirements, so no. Uh, I'm going to continue making PUBG videos, but not only PUBG. This is a multi-gaming channel. Yeah, I know what you're saying right now, but hey, you're doing so much PUBG. That's true, because I enjoy it currently. But I see some big YouTubers who only, or they grew with PUBG alone. They switch to a game and their dislike bar is not very pleasing. So I try to find a good balance. Additionally, I make these VR gameplay videos because I can produce one in a whole day, but the PUBG videos, they take 30 to maybe even 60 hours making them, especially the, for example, the Max Payne strat roulette regarding editing because I had a voice studio in California that I had communicate with and the editing of the funny moments, it's, it's just an insane amount of time to, to get it everything done. I mean, if YouTube would be my job, uh, the uploads would, I don't know, no. would be twice or three times a week and not uh, weekly, which really annoys me Nourishment. because <laughs> I think one point that I'm not growing as fast is that my uploads are slow. 
I barely make one a week, one or two a week. I already mentioned I will be on holiday for two weeks now, so there will be only maybe one or two uplate, uploads, um, sorry, which are scheduled. So I think to live from YouTube, I made no research regarding that, but I think you need at least 100k subscribers and merch and partnerships and whatnot. And then you need to stream. Maybe then you can do it. But I will continue making PUBG videos as a job. <laughs> well, if it pays in the future, in maybe a few years, yeah, why not? I enjoy it. But uh, as it is right now, with my $2 a month, pretty difficult. Then, Alpaca, how did you get into playing PUBG? Early access. I mean, that's it. Uh, Jules the first, or Jules, said, hey, there's a game that looks interesting. It's an early access. Want to try it out? And I was like, yeah, why not? We played it. And I think the first day we played it, it was like 24 hours, nonstop, if the servers were stable, which they were not. God damn it. So yeah, quick answer for once. <sighs> then we have from Xentros. Q&A, what made you start posting on YouTube? I always wanted to try that, but uh, I never found the courage to try it, especially because the games that I played, it was World of Warcraft, Dark Age of Camelot, that's online role-play games, and I was above average, but people are watching... I don't know, I just thought I wouldn't be good enough. And if you... I'm watching the first videos of this channel. They are shit. Okay, it's like a 40 minute <laughs> gameplay video without any subtitles in German, without any editing. Yes, and that's how I started. What made me start? Passion for gaming, curiosity. Are people interested in what I produce? And the last funny moment 13 video for example got posted by PUBG best on facebook and has already only a couple hours a day later thousands of views so people are interested in it it's just that i don't can that i i have problems reaching out to the crowd because the channel is so small but hey maybe that will change in the future evo con caffeine i surely pronounced that wrong so i'm really really sorry do you have any favorite channels or YouTubers or people on other media that you would consider as influencers? Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't want to be a PUBG only channel. I want to be a multi gaming channel. And there are a few people out there who manage that. I like to watch Smitty. I like to watch Tio. Those people said, or those people really showed me it is possible to grow on YouTube if you produce good content, even though there you play multiple games. And that's the goal I want to reach. With the combination of highly edited videos, montages, funny moments and let's plays to reach a high subscriber count. And regarding influence forming the channel, I think that's Joe. I mean, we have now the support for support thing i mean it's even beyond that and we send each other videos as private and say what do you think what would you change and we send each other thumbnails and he says that shit that shit that shit and that shit as well change it <laughs> and yeah i think that's it there are, there are of course a few channels that have some influence but those with the real impact i think that's it. Ace man, very neat concept. Also, the thumbnail is really nice. How do you make them? Yeah. All my thumbnails are made in Sony Vegas. They take quite a long time. For example, the womanizer one is just a lot of masking, putting layers together. I want to change that because I think my thumbnails look not that good and there was a big youtube channel like with half a million subscribers that offered a review on small youtube channels and they picked me which is amazing 
and they said that my titles and my thumbnails need a lot of work. And it's true. And I will take their advice and work on that. Then Chris Smith. Awesome man, question for your Q&A. What do you do for a job? Does that other guy have uh, uh, take a That's difficult to explain. So I'm a consultant in the technical development part mostly in the automotive industry. So if suppliers or OEMs develop a new car, we are there and we look at the processes, for example, or we are hands-on in the development. It's an interesting job. I like it. It's very demanding and you have to travel a lot, which as a result is one of the reasons why I can only upload weekly or sometimes twice a week because my job is very time consuming and we have one more question from who is it jack buys yeah exactly jack buys how long does it take to edit your videos too long it depends uh, if you take the funny moments they take at least 30 hours alone um, getting all the, the, the editing of the subtitles takes. I would say for 10 minutes you can say two to three hours. If I do a Let's Play, for example, Primordium or Dread Eye, where I talk a lot, so there is good commentary, at least I hope it's good commentary. Jesus, it takes forever. The Primordium Let's Play part one with nearly 18 minutes took five hours just for the subtitles but people like it and you gave me the feedback keep them and if you want it it will be there simple as that then i try to always have new effects and new editing ideas and because these effects are so new for me and i teach everything regarding editing myself with youtube even a simple effect can take a lot of time. If you look at the Womanizer 2, for example, the scene where Darth Vader beats Luke, the whole original audio is deleted. The background sound, the lightsaber sounds, everything is edited by myself. And that takes time. Making the voiceover and being satisfied with the results. And then, for example, you have external interfaces. When I make a cooperation with another YouTuber or if I have a voiceover studio, I'd say the gameplay videos, they take, without playing, they take six to seven hours. And the PUBG videos take, the gameplay videos around 20 to 25. And the funny moments and chat roulette with a big idea, for example, with the down Darth below, Vader scene uh, or scenes, five. because he's in the outro as well, they take 30 plus and the funny moments as well, 30 Split. plus for sure. And now I think I answered all your questions for now. I will do one more in the future. I don't know when, but I hope nice. you're satisfied with my answers. It's the first time that I've done that. If there are any new questions, because I gained a lot of subscribers the last couple of weeks, you can drop them in the comment section and I will answer them there. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the background clips, me explaining a little bit of my life and YouTube. And I see you guys in a couple of weeks, because I'm now on holiday. Maybe I can pre-upload another video, but we will see. Until then, as always, have a nice day and bye-bye.